Hey folks, how's it going? Matt here from Maple City Firearms. So there is a reason you're getting this shot and I will explain that here in a few minutes. What I want to talk to you guys today about is concealed carry on your waistline underneath a button down shirt that is untucked. All right. Now obviously if your shirt is tucked in that's going to be a completely different situation. I'm going to do that in another video explaining how to carry in that fashion. Now. First thing we want to talk about is the actual shirt selection. All right, so you're at the store, you're buying the shirt you want to get, you know you're going to be concealed carrying with it. Best thing you can do is to actually bring your gun with you. And what I mean by that is be concealed carrying when you go to try in your shirt. And when you're in the dressing room, just go ahead and try in the shirt and make sure that your gun isn't printing or whatever. So that's the first issue, obviously, is printing. Now, when it comes to selecting the shirt, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. You want to keep in mind the color of the shirt, the material of the shirt, and the fit of the shirt. With color and, and uh, material, if you've got a real thin white shirt, anyone who's had a dress shirt that's a thin white dress shirt, maybe a cheap one from Walmart or something, you know they're basically see-through, okay? Um, so if you've got a black firearm underneath that, and then you've got that shirt, especially if it's a tight one, it's going to be clear as day that you're carrying a gun. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, when it comes to the actual fit of the shirt, you don't want it to be real tight. Now I know ladies and some guys like to wear tighter fitting shirts, show off your figure, whatever, I get it, but I don't know what else to tell you. There's no way to get around this. If your shirt's too tight and you can't actually get to your firearm, then that's going to be a problem. You're going to see a lot of this. You're going to see, you know, even if it isn't printing, even if you've got a situation where you're not printing, um, you're pulling up the shirt to get to the gun. And by the way, it doesn't matter that the gun's here, appendix carrier, whether it's four o'clock, three o'clock, or wherever. It's all going to be the same situation, or right? it's all on your waistline. Your shirt's not done wanting to pull up because you have to understand shirts like this, dress shirts, um, flannel shirts, they usually are not going to stretch or be as loose fitting as a t-shirt. Okay, so even if you've got a tight t-shirt, you can usually pull that up because the material, the cotton, is going to stretch a little bit better. Um, I don't exactly know why. I don't know what the heck the things are made out of cotton, I assume. Anyhow, so you'll want to keep that in mind. And here's another little tip, actually, for those of you who maybe already have a shirt, and maybe you don't want to go out and buy new ones, or maybe it's already fairly loose, but you know, you're know you having a little bit of trouble getting to it. I actually would have a little bit of trouble um, with this shirt in this configuration. I can get to the gun, but it would be a little bit nicer if I had a little bit more uh, freedom in this area. So what I do, actually, is I just unbutton the bottom button. You can't really tell the difference. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make or break the outfit. And this way, I have very easy access to the firearm. Okay. And this isn't just for appendix carry. This is for any position. Okay. My waistline is is more free, so I'm able to move the move the shirt wherever I happen to be with that one button undone. So there's a little tip. If you're running into issues where you already have a bunch of shirts and they're a little bit tight, maybe you're gaining a little weight. I don't know what the situation is. Um, that might help you out. Another reason, however, that you want to make sure your shirt isn't fitting too tight is going to be actually being able to punch out on target. Okay, let me crouch down here to show you. If the shirt's too tight in the shoulders and the back, you're not going to be able to punch out on target and you're going to be like a T-Rex with your gun uh, if you happen to find yourself in the worst day of your life when you have to use your firearm. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. One other little tip here, and um, I've already and those of you who have taken our advanced concealed handgun techniques class, I've already bored you to heck with all this stuff, but this in particular is something very important, and that is undershirts, okay? So most people, when they wear a shirt like this, they're probably going to wear some sort of t-shirt underneath, okay? You want to make sure that shirt is tucked in. The reason for that is you want to have less material to get through to get to your gun, less layers to get through to get to your gun. So if I'm wearing two, three, four layers, whatever, I want to make sure that I only have one layer to get through to get to the gun. So in this case, I've got two layers on. I lift this up, there's my gun, okay? Now, if I were wearing a jacket or a hoodie over top of this or whatever, any other layer over top of this, what I would want to do is I would actually want to tuck this shirt in, put the jacket over top in. I'm not going to tuck the whole shirt in, but I'll kind of show you. I would tuck the shirt in like this. I would have the jacket over top of it. That way, all I have to do is get the jacket out of the way and then get to the gun. Um, take my word on it, guys. If you try to get through multiple layers to get to your gun, it's going to slow you down. Best case scenario, you fumble through and you're able to do it. Worst case scenario, you only get through one layer. You go to grab the gun, you grab that and t-shirt, pull it up, and then when you punch out on target, the gun goes flying somewhere. Who knows? I've seen it happen. It does happen. It is scary, and it would be even scarier in a life-threatening situation where you need that firearm to save your life or the life of a family member. So that's about all I have for you guys today. 
As always, stay armed, stay safe, and have a great day.